It's the show that's no fan of Gangs of New York, the film. You're not? What? Uh, what? Uh, I mean, just, you ever seen Gangs of New York? York? Yeah, I mean, no, two fine. of the iconic actors of our era. Yeah. Make it a disappointing film. Okay. I, I just mean, said just worst take of the day off the board. Already, already done. Let's just keep going. <laughs> it's just it's let's, a let's, let's, let's I know it's the, the Fireman's Union you love. <laughs> no, I didn't like the firemen in that movie. <laughs> okay, They're bad right. guys. First things first. Uh, we're gonna dig deeper into the Devante news. Uh, according to Adam Schefter, two teams are high on Devante's wish list. The Jets and the Saints. This guy loves that <laughs> car, man. <laughs> Not surprisingly, Devante, according to Schefter, would like to play with a QB that he knows. Sauce Gardner hopped on to social media and retweeted a Bleacher Report article about the trade, and then this, so you can decipher, decipher that. If it's uh, don't I it's say, an angel? Is that an angel? Is that it, what that is? I, I Somewhat, it. something, maybe so. a cherub, a but cherub. it's saying. Shh. Exactly. I got that he, part. He, yeah. Yeah, but that's. He I would have used the that. emoji, but sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also of note, I want to resurface this off-season video that was supposedly about golf. <laughs> Take a listen. Those are all the tea leaves. How much would Devonte help the Jets? Let me first say this: It is fair for people to wonder. Does Devontae really want to win a Super Bowl? <laughs> like, yeah. how high is that on his list when the Saints and the Jets are your top two teams? You have the Jets going pretty far. I got them winning the division, but you know I, you know my stance on Rodgers. Yeah. And that will not change with Devontae. Now, okay. here, I'll share all that. Yes, they should go all in for him. Yes, I do think he would help them and make them better. You see with Alan Lazard, he's their leading receiver in terms of yards, mm -hmm. like over 200 just that alone shows you how important it is for a receiver to have a rapport with Rodgers and for Rodgers to be comfortable with the guy. Because yep. clearly he and Garrett Wilson haven't gotten in sync. I think Devontae obviously has that rapport with Rodgers. He also could work with Wilson and kind of help him maybe get more, you know, play better with Aaron. But Devontae would obviously become the number one guy. You got Wilson as the number two and Mike Williams at three. Like, your receiving core would be great. I, so I do think it would make them better. I do think, you know, I, I think I got them winning the division anyway. I think they, it would solidify them in terms of doing that. They make the playoffs. But I do not think it would make them a Super Bowl contender. But I still think they should go all in because this is your only hope. And they think they are, can, can be a contender. So go for it. I just don't think you get out of the AFC with it. Okay, let me say this on the front end. Every team in the league be better with Devontae Adams. Right? Like, there's there's, there's not a team that it's like, oh, adding Devontae Adams. I was going through it. I'm like, is there a single team that would be like, no, don't want him? And the, go ahead, bro. I would, and you asked why. I mean, I the Raiders have, have it. I didn't have Baltimore team, on there. And, and I, I just think if, if Devontae Adams went to Baltimore, they would go into an identity crisis. Okay. Again, right? So like, it thing. wouldn't be just Derek running, Lamar running, we throw it after so, that. So, so there might be some unintended again. consequences. Yeah, just don't, but if it was, fits. hey, Devontae Adams, we're going to keep doing exactly what we're doing, but instead of having Rashad Bateman here, it's going to be Devontae Adams. They would be better. Like, every – so he's a he's a all-time great right. who is, I think, probably just on the outside of his prime. Like, I don't think he's prime Devontae Adams mm -hmm. anymore, and I think some of the – some tell, but. Yeah, but there are some of the advanced numbers that I sometimes buy into, sometimes don't, that are less quarterback dependent, just like, hey, how often are you open on your routes? How much separation are you generating? Now, maybe it's also he's not as motivated when it's right. the situation he's been in as opposed to. But it's not peak Devontae Adams, still really good. But I don't understand this for the Jets other than it would make Aaron happy. Because all offseason, mm -hmm. Jet fans, one of their primary gripes with me was that I was underrating Garrett Wilson. Because Garrett Wilson is supposed to be Devontae Adams. Neither of whom, even the most optimistic Jet fans or the biggest Devontae Adams fans right now, didn't think either one of them were still or already a top five guy in the league, but firmly in that top ten. That's where Devontae is. That's where Garrett Wilson was supposed to be. Right now, up to this point in this year, 
Alan Lazard has been the primary target. Garrett Wilson is 41st in the NFL in yards. He's yeah. tied for 32nd in touchdowns with one, despite being tied for ninth in targets. There are 110 players who have a longer catch this year than He's Garrett, the average than Garrett Wilson. Exactly. He's long recession. of the year is 26. Just for context, Green Bay has seven guys with a longer catch than Garrett Wilson has this year. Washington has six. So here's why I say all this. Do people think this is going to help Garrett Wilson's growth? I, do do so you? I, I do because this was an outgrowth. We can show my stat. Yeah. Uh, outgrowth of my Christian Gonzalez theory. He did. That was his only touchdown. But he's going up against the number one guy every time. So if Sertan needs to be on Devontae right. or Christian Gonzalez needs to be on Devontae, Sneed's on Devontae, all of a sudden doesn't Garrett Wilson, I know it's a different position, Rodgers has to take that person off his off his. So, but then, but, so let's just. But again, we can just domino it because the reason I don't think it wouldn't be a big needle mover for them is another thing that I was told going into this year was Mike Williams is a huge addition if he's healthy. So now he's now Mike Williams is running how many routes a game? He's your number four receiver. Because here's what I know: Alan Lazard is going to be a featured part of this offense. Like, for the, for, it's about relationships, Rodgers being comfortable, and Nat Hackett being comfortable, whatever it is. So, now Mike Williams, so I just... But I, that's fine. If it I, makes us better, so be it. So, Mike Williams moves down. So, so like I said... Devontae's that good. And Devontae is very good. So, like I said, every team would be better with Devontae Adams. I don't think this would make the Jets worse. I just think it's marginal. And I don't think mm. it is where they need to put their resources. And I want to throw one other thing. to a bit of a curveball. Just see what you say. If they do this, you must then swallow your pride and re-sign Hassan Reddick or sign Hassan Reddick yeah, or whatever it is. If you are truly you going right. to if be all in, all yep. in and trade more or trade Reddick yeah. for the pick you're going to use, you know what I mean? You can't yep. say we're all in, we're doing this. We are, in my opinion, maybe I'm wrong, but. At least, at least slightly stunting our number one draft pick, Garrett Wilson's growth. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but that's how I but would do it. But this regime is like, yeah, so, we're out. Of, we're, right. we're getting fired. So if, this, if you're this doing that, that then you right. also have to blink on Reddick. I agree. You have to truly be all in on it. Because even though the defense has been very good the last three games, you haven't played really good teams. Correct. So it's going to change. Yeah. Um, okay. Devontae to Dallas. Maybe Diana Rossini reporting that the Cowboys are monitoring the situation. Clarence Hill asked McCarthy uh, about going after Devontae. He said the classic, happy with his current receivers. <laughs> Just not a yes, not a no. Uh, one note, Brandon Cooks is out for the Steelers game with an infection in his knee from a procedure after the Giants game. Not great. So That one's not good at all because no. it seems indefinite. He's they, they, definitely out this week, and then we'll see. Uh, should Jerry go all in? For Devonte, first of all, the oh, camera. Okay. Oh, the camera. I'm talking to Jerry. Okay. Oh, he watches. Jerry, he watches show. all in means that you go for it. Mm -hmm. You pull no punches. You leave no stone unturned. You empty the clip, yep. or in this case, the bank account. Okay. That's what all in means. It doesn't mean everybody we're playing is all in the locker room already. All right, all our players are all in the light. That's what Jerry thinks it means. We don't have to go get anybody else because he said they were all in this summer and they did nothing. So all in should mean we're going for it. That being said, yes. Now, again, do I think it's going to make them win the NFC? No, but their only chance, Nick, of having a respectable or good season is, an awesome is throwing the – that's it. That's right. You're not going to – you can't run the ball. You're not going to be able to run the ball. So you have to throw it. You've signed Dak. You paid him all the money. You might as well try to have him be the best he can be. And if you got C.D. Lamb and Devontae Adams on different sides, I mean, that, that gives you a chance. Yeah. And you have to outscore people as long as Micah and Demarcus Lawrence are out. So, yeah, they should go for it. Again, I don't think it'd make them get to the Super Bowl, but they should. Well, it's about making your team better. And, and this would make them better. And uh, listen, the, the Jets, when we're talking about them, I didn't even mention this piece of it. They have two running backs people love. Braylon Allen, who's been awesome as a rookie, and Brees Hall, who people loved as, you know, last year, and we'll see. The Cowboys are in the opposite position. 
They have no running game to speak of. The defense right now was struggling already and is now down. It's, in my opinion, two best players on the defense with respect to Diggs. Yep. And certainly it's best guy for a little bit in Mike and one of its very best guys in Demarcus Lawrence. And I will add this. It's not only that Mike McCarthy has the experience with Devontae, obviously, but Dak's best year of his career was last year. We'll get that. His second best year as far as team success plus numbers was McCarthy's first year there. They were 12 and 5 or 12. They won 12 games. I can't remember how many games were played. I think 12 and 5. Um, he had 37 touchdowns, 10 picks, a 104 rating, 4,500 yards. That was CD and Amari. Like Dak has succeeded, yep. you know what I mean, with the yep. two, two wide receivers. And the Cowboys, in my opinion, don't have – you're not stunting anyone's growth by bringing in Devontae, Devontae Adams because CD is clearly your number one, even with Devontae. And he's taking the snaps from Tolbert or from Cooks, who's now hurt. Mm -hmm. You don't have a log jam there. And I think you have a bigger need at that position. Like, I think that the, the, when I said every team would be better with Devontae, there's obviously teams that would be degrees, most helped, yeah. degrees of it. The Cowboys are high on the list of teams that he would help the most because of the point Brew made, which is their only through line to being a good or, and I think very good is still on the board, I know you don't, is an elite passing attack. The running game is going to be mediocre at best, and the defense, it looks like, even at full strength, was not going to be as good as it was in years past. It was going to have to be through Dak's right arm, and adding another star player alongside CD would be super And helpful. this would improve your running game to some degree because they have to worry so much about yeah. that. Correct. And can I say one other thing about yeah. the Cowboys and the money piece of it? So Devontae makes essentially a million bucks a game this year. So if you trade for him, you have to have on your cap available however many games. You'll we'll have $13 million if you trade for him today or $12 million. But that can change. Because the Raiders, if they want to, can switch all of that to bonus. They pay it, and you get them for the league minimum. I think they would do that if you give a better pick. Yeah. So for a team, like if, if Jerry really feels cash strapped, if they, I know they floated they're going to get a second. I don't think they're going to get that. I think they're going to get a third and something. But I think maybe that could be a second if all of a sudden he's a cheap player instead of an expensive player. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think that is negotiable. I don't think money should be the reason someone doesn't get Devontae Adams if you're willing to pay the draft pick premium. All right. While many teams are monitoring the Devontae situation, Schefter pointed out one team that seems out of the mix, the champs. Kind of strange. Here's the Chiefs offense this season, uh, still winning. But not lighting up the scoreboard board per se. Had that long completion to uh, Worthy, but still tied for 15th on long bombs. So are you surprised the Chiefs aren't in the mix? Well, so I think that part of the reason the Chiefs aren't in the mix is the Raiders doing. Right. I think the Raiders not wanting to trade within the division. I also think Kansas City it does not want to do anything drastic until they find out about Rashid. Mm -hmm. If Rasheed, if the and I again, I don't know, but if the Rasheed prognosis is six to eight weeks, I don't think they'll trade for anyone. It's been a long time not to get news on. I, well, I told you yesterday they're not going to know till Monday. What's going on? They're, they that could be good. But it, it, so. it, it, it could mean, be good. Better, it might not be say. good for the record. But on Monday they're going to be able to find out. Okay. So um, and so it is a long time, and it, it is odd. it is it's incredibly like odd. Um, which is why there is optimism. It's not a fully torn ACL because yeah. you can tell that instantly, but it could be partially torn and other damage that's just as bad, whatever it is. Um, so I think the Chiefs are not in as much of a rush as everyone else thinks maybe they should be, and I think the Raiders don't want to trade with Kansas City. So I think that is what is happening right now, why the most obvious – Team that's a contender with a need, with a great quarterback, a wide receiver that's aging would probably be a rental, but you're going for a three-peat. That's why that hasn't happened. No, I agree with all of that. And then we'll throw in yesterday what we discussed. If I'm the Chiefs, my number one target at receiver is Tyreek Hill. If I can get him, like I'd rather have him than Devontae. Obviously, he has the, the chemistry with Mahomes. He's faster, all that stuff. He just opens everything up. But outside of that, Nick, and maybe, like you said, once they find out about Rasheed, I think they should go for him. 
Like, I think they should go for Devontae because, as you said, they're trying to do something that's never been done. And so go ahead and make your team as great as it can be. Like, I, I used to talk about this a lot last year. They ended up winning the Super Bowl. But you've got a Ferrari at quarterback. Go ahead and get him some Ferraris on the outside. And he, of course, we talked about Worthy needing to step up, you know, with Rasheed out. I, again, Devontae opens things up for Worthy. They have to worry about Devontae Adams. I think that's going to make Worthy even so, more dangerous. Go, throw a, the Raiders just trade. You should not be putting a restrictor on any teams that you're looking around at. Uh, other, other than the CFL it, or, it, or the USFL. It, oh, the Raiders, the, they, me, the they, Chiefs gave it like, well, we're rivals with the Chiefs. Are you, though? They think they are. No, Give but, me a break. But, they but think it, they are. I, hold on. Here's the thing. And they, they, they are historic rivals with the Chiefs, even though the Broncos are probably the Chiefs' biggest rival. The, the, we're historic speaking, rivals with England. The, okay, no, I get that. <laughs> but, uh, but, that's, but to me, and I made this point yesterday, I'll make it again. That is oddly, if you are operating intelligently rather than emotionally, you should want to trade yes. with your rival because as long as you acknowledge you're on different timelines, you know, as long as you acknowledge that. Do they? That's well, the and, question. And, and, I, the, the, and I get I, We do, but I, the no, Raiders I think don't they, seem I think to. They, they know that. And, I, that. and when I say you're on different timelines, the point is you can be like, well, what's the Chiefs' timeline for, you know, for Mahomes' whole career? That's not It's Devontae's timeline versus your timeline to contend. If your feeling is, well, Devontae Adams, it's probably just a rental anyway. We are not competing this year, yes. so we're going to be getting a draft pick. Don't we want to steal resources from Kansas City? It actually logically should be the Chiefs, Chargers, or Broncos should be the teams they most want to trade with. No. But that's not how teams you work. Know you're not competing. The, right. the other thing that I do think Kansas City might be doing if they're not involved here is not – I bet Kansas City's not unhappy that this is happening right now because it sets a ceiling – for the wide receiver trade market. Oh, that's interesting. And so I know the Raiders floated, they want a second. If they floated, they want a second, that means they're worried they're only going right. to get a third. And if Devontae goes for a third condition, you know, that could be a second, whatever it is, then if Amari Cooper or DeAndre Hopkins or those other receivers that could come available that are not Devontae Adams, then it's like, okay, well, that's a fourth round pick now. So, you know what I mean? This could yep. benefit the Chiefs' ability to get a receiver in that it sets the market in a place that makes it easier for them. Chiefs have that extra pick from trading LeJarrius Sneed. Like, those things are all at play here eventually, potentially. Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.